Okay, so today I'm carrying on with resource refactor. Although no longer having to deal with the collision shape specifically, which I did last time, where I pretty well uh, disentangled shapes, shape resources and their pools from specific loaders. Instead, they kind of work through base class types and function pointers rather than having a direct pointer to uh, such as, where the hell did it go? Resource functions. <laughs> oh, great. It's not even, ah! It's got to be around here somewhere. Isn't resource? Here. Through fairly generic function pointers and function context pointers rather than having a direct link to specific loaders and mechanisms to load and unload so in this case like I, it used to be that collision shapes used to have direct references to the loaders to load and unload but now i no longer do that this is supposed to help facilitate the idea of having arbitrary loaders initialized and deinitialized registered deregistered throughout the runtime of an application without necessarily having to have full knowledge of them beforehand just having like the the, brief, the rough framework much like how like see a lot of developers would probably do more through c++ inheritance i did it more through like c kind of styled function pointers and stuff <clears throat> now I do kind of have a bit of an issue with uh, dealing with unloading contexts on deinitialization if I'm deinitializing a specific loader. And that does need to be dealt with. But I'm going to deal with it in the context of doing a graphics type, a graphics resource. Um, not sure which yet. Probably something like end at the end of the line. So images, images I believe don't really have connections to anything else. So this is pretty good. This is a good halfway point because one of the things I need to deal with is uh, knowing when to be able to with, like. So let's say I'm deinitializing or I'm unregistering image functionality or image a specific image loader presumably i then need to unload the images that was loaded through this system because soon the func the the functionality the code to unload those images will be going away so i cannot keep those images loaded on a particular resource what this means is that by the time i get to like say the image loader's deinitialization functionality, I need to be 100% sure that any images that were loaded, that any image resources that were loaded through this are now no longer being used. That means like the the buffers, the command, the command buffers, the like the last remaining couple of frames have already been fully processed before I get into the simulation core area. Uh, or during the simulation core area when I'm deregistering functionality and deinitializing specific functionality. I need to make sure that no, that the graphics session context and device is idle. But that's a whole lot of nonsense that I haven't gotten around to yet because first of all, I need to start with the basics as in disentangling these or hmm, create info base one of the okay actually before I do that even what I'm going to do is I'm gonna resource is a very generic it really shouldn't be like this technically these resources should be resource types are very specific to Vulcan right Uh, okay, that's not even a Vulcan thing, but the rest of these are very interwoven with uh, 
Uh, Vulcan? No, you're not. Is anyone here connected to Vulcan? Yes, you are. Mm. Okay, whatever. I need to split up, like, rather than it being like a generic resource where I lump in armatures and graphics data, I need to actually have like a faux graphics resource library or something like that. I don't know if I actually want to have it like connected to this, which I probably don't. I want to have it separate. It's graphics. Okay, I'm going to create a new library right now. Faux graphics resources. Or just resource. Whoops. Whoops. I lost it. That can start putting these things in a separate area. Uh, that does mean, though, that the pool base and the create info base and the error code. Oh, man. I also need to fix up return codes. <sighs> mm -mm -mm -mm. So many things to do. Okay. For resources. And what else? Yeah, okay. No. I'll just do that. Material pool, material sub resources, log, that's local. Okay. Let's move these base classes around. Load state, that's the old type. I'm not going to use that anymore. This will be moved down to simulation. Or. Okay, can I? System base, resource base. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's make a sub because I kind of want to have a split here where I say it's like, yeah, this is these are the base. These are the base classes. Base for you know the resource. The base for. So we'll move that. kind of belongs in there system base that belongs in here okay, these are very specific and these are so base 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 mm. This is just some minor maintenance to make things a bit easier moving forward. How, what? File just disappeared. No. Base system, system base. System. I don't really want to use the, the, the word base core. Also change this to be like functionality simulation probably separate these out a little bit simulation functionality to something else okay yes okay back up back 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 up <clears throat> what? Okay. First of all, actually, I'm going to split that up, like I, like I just kind of said. So, registration. So, close the others. I'm going to have this. Simulation registration. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is something that could actually might. Oh no, I can't do externcy because I use error codes. Oof, big oof there. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. That and this. Whatever. I can focus on maybe simplifying it down to C some other day. that struck that do 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 export and we got error code that should be everything we needed here um <clears throat> can still leave it as a separate thing like this but instead it's going to include they're going to be compiled in the same file for now registration okay that's going to leave a whole bunch of other files that don't know where the hell these things have gone like this one, sorry. Where did I put this? Oh, yeah, I put it way down there. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. Next, I could probably just search for registrar CPP files, but now we're at the end, anyways. Okay, let's just have a look at these. Get this in. So that's core the registration, core the registration, core the registration. RS. Yeah, so it is still the same order. Interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Simulation. Mm 
in the simulation. No, don't even say this. <clears throat> Just put that in. Great. We've got a part. Now... Go back to this. I'm thinking of changing this. I can merge this. Okay, I can move this up into here and call this like simulation. Group data. Okay. That just leaves the shared mutex. Don't save that. We can trash this file. Can I just like open? There we go. That'll make it a bit easier. That's a bit faster. Amazing. So we now have this instead of state. No such file. That's useful. Okay. That's thank you. <sighs> uh, let's mush this into core. Out there, yep. Move that. We're going to rename to simulation. And simulation. For that one, but replace that one. This one, not no, no. That one, this one, and this one. Okay, I don't understand why you're opening these things and screwing them up. And then, yeah.
Yeah, that's a bit redundant, but okay. change no okay let's run that and make sure we're not regressing in any major way nope F okay not 40 files just those ones Changes there. We'll change that to be rename mm -hmm. hmm out oh, for that yeah those are two okay um Okay, scrap these. I don't want to put it up yet. So now, whoops, what was I doing? Uh, then I was going to do, yeah, this is what started this whole uh, mess. Uh, resource base, function system base. We're going to go into this. So you clean that area up. Then I was going to bring in include create info base loader base registrar that's that pool base okay that's old that's going away all right
A spaces core change at the core. This is like the create info core or something like that. Okay, well, I'm not going to rename them quite yet. I'm just going to do. So this can actually be probably merged in this one. Simulation core resource. Submission core resource functions, core pool, core loader, core create info. Okay, now we're going to have a bunch of missing something or others. So let's go through each of them. those so now we've got the pool base bunch of very boring stuff to be sure Okay, so I was just kind of working on the material loader, changing it up, and then I've realized I've hit upon a little bit of a problem with how I do maintenance. Well, I mean, this is a problem I foresaw and I just kind of forgot about while I was doing the conversion. So in, let's say, a material, let's get, just close these up, in a material loader, 
as with any loader. From the loader base, we inherit this, a maintenance function. This maintenance function, as part of application, is run every tick. Yeah, here, as part of the main program tick, simulation tick, if you will, or pass, or whatever. And the problem here is the fact that like, materials can't be loaded or unloaded using the main application tick. It needs to it needs to be uh, maintained at the same rate as graphics. Uh, so like each graphics pass occurs, which may which may very well may be the same as the main simulation uh, rate, but it also may be less. Especially like if there's, if there's very little going on in the CPU side and the GPU it's GPU bound and there's possibility more CPU ticks occurring. What the, whatever the case may be, I cannot rely on them being in lockstep. I just can't. So I need to come up with a some kind of something. And this will have to apply for other like graphics based and probably other subsystems maybe. Audio audio works at probably a different uh, simulation rate uh, than the main. Yeah, because it because it typically be in like at what ten millisecond uh, jumps or something like that. Whatever. So I need to come up with a different uh, way to deal with maintenance and maintenance passes, at least. When it comes to resources, components, makes sense uh, that they can be, yeah, they can be like, they can stay like that. But these, no, not so much. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Interesting. So, how's about what's with the import registrar? Yeah, okay, you do. Uh, yeah, because I'm adding materials right now, and the same thing will have to be, apply for images as well. Like they have to be done in the graphics, the rate of graphics, not the rate of simulation, not necessarily. All right. So, something to do with simulation. It has to be something to do with simulation. So right now we do have as part of create info, we do have like the async task function. We what if, rather than having it maintenance be part of that, like part of the base uh, class, so rather than it being here, here, we still need to be able to process it and load it, but not maintenance. What if when Okay, so what if, yeah, yeah, what if I don't have it here, rather it's like a loose function that I give to the simulation. So what would happen is that it would, during either creation or initialize, no, on initialization, I would then pass 
a set of pairs of context and function pointers to okay yeah 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 okay one thing I need is I'm going to need this I need a function for setting synchronized uh, tasks that are in, you know, synchronized to the, the simulation loop. Um, that would then have to be passed in. That would bring, so we add that. That's automatically passed into this. So I, so I need to pass it in around up here if, I probably need to have something that says trade simulation. If they if not create info dot sync task function or not create info dot async task function, then I need to return the error code of some sort. Uh, I need to re okay, I need to rework how this uh, throws stuff out. So I do initialize simulation. Uh, this will have to also be changed to return error codes. Uh, da, 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 da. Auto that. That. Pointer pointer. Standard error code. Okay. I do have not have error codes yet here. Do I? Well, I do have for this. I am going to use these internally. Internally. Inter okay, so yeah, why is this here? Move it private. Move it. Error code. these I want to change this up to results case X takes case X new line return hash X that should be enough so I can do reserve case of this Not registered, functionally registered, already registered. Um, so, what's the uh, what, what was the error going to be for this? Oh, simulation error. This so error value 
Cloud Creating Code. Say that. Doesn't really matter as long as the error code is matched up correctly here. Okay. that do, 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 do. so we then like turn that and what we want is this to instead go to equals that Okay, we've got that. On create that always succeeds. We don't try to initialize here. So that's good. So if I try to run this right now, this should fail. Okay. I meant fail to run, not fail to build. Uh, yeah, okay. That's why I have the error code thing, right? Yeah. Um, Yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll fix that up a bit more later. <laughs> okay, that is still very much a problem. Uh, I need to, so loader still needs to actually have this for the moment. I mean, for the bring up application, I could go, it, it would work. For the moment, but it would not last. Okay, we're back down to here. So 
So what I'm going to do at the moment is take out the old stuff, or the new stuff that I'm working with. It doesn't really matter for removing, does it? Just inserting it that matters. And set this back, right? Okay. I want to do a bunch of other things first. Import state. Uh, you're right about that one. So right now it starts with this no printer. Sorry. Okay. And then if oh oh no 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 I It's, it's alive. Okay, where was I? Erica. If error code, return error code. So hopefully. Uh, almost. Okay, now we do this. So that's just basically nothing. That should be nothing. Good. Great, and terminal should say state with simulation error invalid create info. Excellent. Excellent. We now have a bit better control on error codes returning from this that we can deal with. Uh, I need to pass in the sync function, sync task function. Okay, and we go back to application where we're starting this.
Okay. So basically everything I was going to do to start with just about. Okay. Let's just add this. So we've got what's going on here. Invalid create info. So what's going on here? Nope. These are the changes we need, not that one. So we've got simulation, we added synchronous. Okay. Nothing on a successful run. Appropriate error error code on failure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that error code. Swap that up a little bit. Okay, I want to change that up. Do this instead. Require that one. That one to succeed. That'll be yes, yeah. Not quite. Okay, yeah, I need to have functions. That actually accepts, okay.
error to go. What's this? Okay, yeah, we can't accept that. What we can accept false. Okay. That's a bit more. Yeah. Okay, this is not part of this. Alongside asynchronous tasks. Uh, not, hmm. I could provide the tasks to the main application and then have the main application do that instead. But I've already got like asynchronous tasks. You know, hmm. We got that. We got synchronous tasks. Now, what I was doing with the synchronous tasks was going to be the idea that along with these, I'd have like the list of when you register for a pool base. When you create alongside this, actually, perhaps what you should have would be something more along the lines of So we'd have the base star, the pointer to the thing. But then we'd also have like, whoops, uh, avoid the function star like that. Calls nothing. And then we'd also have star p function, and then when you create it you can assign which ones it has so rather than having to like go through and do a dynamic cast and then find out I just already know right from here uh, this 
would require, however, me to know So I need to I need to give uh, this no. It's a set of these things instead. That should still be pretty quick to iterate through. It would be, really. And then I could add just a few others, like uh, audio maintenance function and any other systems that work and require to be maintained in a different manner from the main simulation loop. Yeah, I think so. Wait, what am I doing? This <laughs> not the resource. Oh, wow. Like, uh, no, back, 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 back. it's not a resource pool. It's the resource loaders that do this. That of course means I need to do a number of changes right away before I can put this into play. But I think it'll work. So let's do that. Let's let's do this right away. So we got that. Do we need to do anything else here? Not really. It'll be in the other places basically where these loaders are added. So let's find out which ones we've got to deal with right here. Resource loaders. Oh, yeah. kind of work with that. It's either that or I can like generate a list. I like I have a couple vectors. Like one vector is Regular maintenance. Another vector is actually that may be a bit wiser, wouldn't it? I 
Okay, I'm gonna back up and do that. So instead we'll have, oh, but I'd still have to have both things, wouldn't I? Wait, 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 if I do this, I still need to have a struct. Both of the pointer of the, th of the thing we're working on and that. Or let's just do this now. Okay. This way instead. That'll have both of them together, anyways. I believe. All right. So now I need to go through and find. I need to go through and add it to all of them. So let's start with up the top. Uh, I won't touch this one quite yet. Let's get the old systems going first. The resource, we've got the shape loader. So I need to do on the registrar of this. So we added this. Oh crap. If I do it this way, then I won't be able to get these things back out because I can't do a comparison on standard functions. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. At which point, I may as well just merge them all back together anyways. So let's do that again. Like, I am pretty sure I can't actually do a comparison on standard function. I'm pretty sure I already looked at this. Operator, it has an equal swap of sign. A bool checks if a target is contained, but it doesn't check if it's a uh, specific one compares it with a null pointer not very useful I can't see exact what type it is in there which kind of throws all this in for pain absolute pain so yeah we've got to go back to this void star p maintenance maintenance Function. Yeah, it's a pointer of these things. 
Um, this becomes this. Merge those guys back up a little bit. Uh, Clang D is dead, so restart. And here we go again. Semi colon. Cannot use dynamic cast. So it's not that specifically. So it's P iterator P loader. So we're comparing against. Okay, uh, when we're here in place back, new armature pool, okay, at the loaders. So we need to give a different set now. So it's one of these each time instead. So dot p loader equals that. Not that, but or um, full armature loader maintenance. Hmm. Okay. These, uh, these ones are also using the old pattern, so it doesn't really matter for them. Let's back up. to make it a little bit more readable. Okay. 
next location and we're also going to uh, remove this right now Same thing here. Just remove the final, okay? So I can get back to the rest of these, please. Okay. Did I just not do it right? Search in unit. Okay. Pass that again. Collision shape loader. This is the first one I actually have to really worry about. So maintenance. So what I need is like a static avoid maintenance type function. Then I need a private avoid maintenance like that. Okay, we have that. How do I register? How do I register this? Exactly. Um,
Okay, when I'm hmm. search and D in it, search and D in it, that's good. What's going on the on the search one right here? What's wrong here? Systems is fine. This should also be fine. I don't understand why this one's breaking now. Convert from photo simulation loader data to photo collision shape loader. This must just be an old uh, attempt on Clang to run through it. Okay, on create, this, 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 this. Where's the loader? Here's the loader. Here's the photo collision shape loader. This is the interesting thing. So we're going to have. function equals full loader base and we know what it is Because we're here, we're creating it. So we know it's a and I do P collision shape loader maintenance like that for the moment. That works like that. Perfect. Ah. <sighs> And that is some that is okay enough in my book. Now we need to find the other one. So I need to go through. That was physics. So I need to go through position. No, position doesn't have a resource. Who else? Okay, what is hmm. instantiation here? I'm line one forty three. Searching through. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. You're right about that. You need to search through loaders like that, right? If we do that, we no longer have this. Actually, so right now, we, we don't actually need the synchronous thing that I just did right now. I could just go through these. Say if iterator dot maintenance function iterator dot 
p maintenance function with the iterator.p loader. Yeah, so I don't I waste my time on the other thing. Good job, me. Great job, me. Um, but now we have the flexibility so that when we go down to do, okay, this is other stuff about here. Okay. Okay, so I'll just drop the last commit then. Uh, once I figure out the last of these. Oh, good. It's no longer a pointer type. Uh, meaning I would have to know what it is beforehand. Okay, okay. Put a bit like does this even know what flow simulation is? It doesn't. Okay, where am I? Going for the importer, right, which is this. She's in a place that it doesn't know what they are or how to work them. Unless I change it over to using this, like draw pointer and counts. That would work. In fact, that would work exceedingly well. I mean, it wouldn't be, can I do standard, like the range library. Can I do, like what is, like, what is, a bit old. What? As far as that range is a view, that is, it has constant time copy move assignment. Okay, ranges is just something I've never actually really touched on before. Factories, adapters. Okay, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not really going to know tonight, so. Is what we're going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to use this full simulation something. So it'll be all right about there. So it'll be here. Struct that. We don't need to know all these things.
change it up to that. Okay. Okay. not want me to actually do anything so I already have that from before I go into this side now I should have access to simulation stuff so we're here we got that the pointer to get at the beginning of the range create okay where is this is create info base iterator is coming from what every source functions I'm going to go back to the resource functions. Okay. This is taking in just that. So we've got to change that up to accept it. That can work. That can still work. So got this, which now accepts, you know, a whole bunch of. should be const because this is not changing but the data we point to does so we've got that uh, why is this wrong const the constness the constness to go coming importer that's correct
Okay, we need to go back to the YAML importer. We need to change that. That is const. Uh, the generator needs to be updated, so that's a const. Lovely. Now we're going to have to go through and update those functions. Such as this one. use it here yet. I'm not entirely sure why I have these loaders in the create processing anymore, actually. I don't need them. I used to actually need them for when I created the, uh, the resources in these functions, but I don't do that anymore. I just need the pools. Hold on. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a vestigial piece of, oh, I've been wasting my time even more than normal. Don't need it at all. Bam. Simulation loader base. Uh, do I need loader base? No. So we go into generator. We don't need this. Create processing just requires me to know the, that. If it's compatible, then I do that. If it, because it's if. Wah wah. Big old epic failure there.
Well, it's always nice to actually be able to remove something. It's always good. Good feeling, great feeling. I love it. So, we got rid of the graphics one for the moment. So we can actually probably set... Uh, da, 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 da. This one, this one, back. We can, can keep using that for the moment. Because we haven't actually pulled in the other one yet. Right, this, this still works, please work. Uh, yes, it does. Good, 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 good. So one thing we're going to do, get stash right now. I'm going to drop this. We didn't need it. Shoes with that. I still want to re uh, figure out error coding for returning from import state for creating simulations, but not quite yet. Let's get this little thing going again. Okay, that's just a big point. Ah, good. Let's clear these. And then do this little thing where we uh, removed loader state and updated to the new one. So graphics resource is all these ones down to about here. Let's put these in and then we'll see what we need to take out. So we'll try to do two bits. We're gonna just do, first of all, remove the items that we don't need, which is this. And then we'll focus on the new maintenance mechanism. So what, we don't need this. That's not part of this. That's been shifted up. Mm. This is a whole lot of not required or part of this at all. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is. Nope. Nope. These aren't part of this. Neither is this. Neither is this. This is. Uh, can we go to... Group data is not there. Is there something I need to take out of here? No. Okay. And this is just part of the test anyways, right? Mm, 
Nope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, so this part is a thing where we removed. References. Have been Yeah, the loaders are just almost just, there's a lot less of them floating around, is what matters. Well, especially the importers don't actually deal with the processing of the what they import, they just add items. Loaders are currently still based elsewhere, although realistically, Loaders should belong as part of... No, they shouldn't belong as YAML. Because there can be a different importer for YAML, binary, or other formats. But the loader may be reused across multiple of them. So it couldn't be part of the actual like IMAX library, but it could be like a intermediary that's or intermediate that sits between like the base type and the pool so be like you know you get the faux resource you get the resource library then you get like the resource loader library and then you get like the parser libraries on top of that it's kind of like a three-stage thing but that's not really for now that's that's for the future so get these guys in wonderful great we got another thing down um Okay, now we gotta go. We oh, were doing the yes. Okay. So we were dealing with the maintenance stuff. So right now we got this. Yep. Synchronous thread pool, wait for all tasks here, and then we can do the same thing up here. Now this should, I mean, this does nothing because right now there's no synchronous tasks set. But what I'm about to do is I'm gonna put throw these into that. So right now we got like, what, 30, 20, I mean, basically it doesn't matter. I'm definitely probably GPU bound at this point anyways, but let's just do like something dot central task.
Okay. That could be slower until, of course, it actually freezes on something. So I actually do have a problem with uh, my thread pool. Cute. Someone somewhere is hanging. Condition variable wait. They're both waiting. Okay, and then you're on what? Wait for all tasks, waiting. I don't know what is inside of here. Um, okay, so here's the, here's the deal. I'm not going to actually do that until I fix up the thread pools to work again. In the meantime, I can I will I will sacrifice my time by doing it in a single thread and actually not waiting on these things which can fail. That's something for the future. That would be the idea. Even if it's not quite there yet. I'm surprised. Oh, I don't actually ever wait on the asynchronous tasks. Hmm. Okay, so that's basically done. I did remove uh, from simulation core uh, loader. I removed the maintenance function, yes. Okay, now I get back to the... Okay, so that was the interesting part of how to deal with the graphics maintenance and all that stuff. Now I go back to the boring task of continuing to convert uh, graphics resources up, which I will not be putting on YouTube because it's super boring and droll and uninteresting menial task work.